Right. Yeah, so they sent to Antioch one of their favorite sons by the name of John, whose surname is Barnabas. All right. All right. Sent him down to the city of Antioch, and when he got there right. and saw these people had turned to the Lord, yeah, the Bible says he was glad and he encouraged them right. that they should cling or cleave unto the Lord with a sincere heart. All right. All right. Because once you're saved, you have to grow closer. See, if you if you've been saved in 1997. All right. Nobody should have to pray the prayer for you that they prayed in 97. All right. All right. You should have been and grew closer. Amen. I wish I could help somebody. Amen. Help. You should have been. Grew. You know, like some folk, you know, have trouble quoting scriptures. All right. If you can't quote scriptures, you ought to be able to quote your pastor. All right. Amen. 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 All right. Because you should have grew closer. All right. I wish I had. Right. Amen. Wish I had a witness here. Amen. And so he encouraged them that they might cling or grow closer to the Lord. But then as he looked around, he decided that he would go to the city of Tarsus because in the city of Tarsus was a young man by the name of Saul, whom we later know as Apostle Paul. All right. Saul was in the city of Tarsus doing manual labor. All right. But how many know that when the Lord called? Amen. Yeah, he wants you to dedicate yourself just to him. All right. I guess y'all right. don't know that. Amen. I said, I guess y'all. I guess y'all don't know that. Come on, talk to me. All right. Because you cannot continue to work manual labor or a secular job and give all of your attention to the study of the word of the Lord that you might know the truths of the Lord. I right. right. didn't shut some folks up. Oh, yeah. Then, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it out there because y'all act like y'all not reading this. All right. Well, Saul was in Tarsus doing manual labor. All right. Working a job. Amen. Barnabas goes to Tarsus to get Saul to bring him back to the city of Antioch. All right. Are you listening to me? Amen. Now, in order for Saul to come back to Antioch, he must leave his. Yeah. That's crazy. Ain't it? Ain't that crazy? All right. Come on, talk to me, working. All right. Do I have anybody here with a job? All right. I guess not. Y'all all. Y'all all, all Obama recipients. Anybody here work a job? All right. Now, how many work a job because you got bills to pay? You got things you got to take care of. <laughs> Only five folks. <laughs> Come on, children. See, y'all make preaching hard. I'm trying to show you something. Y'all being apprehensive like y'all gonna tell the story. Y'all ain't in the witness protection program, are you? Y'all hiding out from the IRS? <laughs> Y'all file false taxes return? Talk to me here. I need to know why you being secretive. How many y'all got a job? Amen. Now you work a job because you got some bills to pay. You got some things to do, right? Yeah. You know, you might like your job, but if your money was right, all right. If you hit the sixty-three million dollar lotto, you need a job, right? So, what you think about a preacher who leaves his job? All right. 
right now. <laughs> All right now. I'm sorry, broadcast only, so I'm trying to stay focused. What do you think about a preacher leaves his job? Yeah. Huh? Listen to me. Huh? Come on, talk. Because I know everybody got an opinion. They told me that when I was in school. Yeah. All right. They said, just like real ends, everybody got one. All right. Barnabas goes and gets Saul from the city of Tarsus, takes him from his job, brings him back to the city of Antioch. All right. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. I said, are y'all listening to me? Amen. That's right then, verse 25, that Barnabas departed to Tarsus to seek Saul. Verse 26, and when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that for a whole year they assembled themselves with the church. All right. All right, right. So he's off work a whole A whole year. All right. Because brothers and sisters, believe me when I tell you, it's difficult to work a secular job, study the word of God, All right. and then receive that which the Lord would have you receive in order to articulate it to the people. All right. Are, are you listening to me? Amen. See, some folks think I'm just making stuff up. All right. When Jesus called the 12 disciples, Amen. he called them away from their job. All right. I wish I had some help, y'all. Right. Peter was a fisherman. James and John were fishermen. Right. Andrew was fisherman. But Jesus said, follow me. I will make you fishers of men. Right. So, so, it's difficult. And so here they was in the city of Antioch. I got to get ready to go. Yeah, here they was in the city of Antioch and they stayed with the people that was Antioch. They stayed with the believers that was at Antioch. They stayed with the church that was at Antioch. And the Bible says in verse 26 that the disciples, the followers, were called Christians first. All right. Because their behavior, their character, mimic that of the Christ. Amen. They imitated Jesus. That's right. That's right. That's right. So they were called Christians. But then verse 27 comes in, brothers and sisters, and says, In these days came prophets from Jerusalem unto Antioch. All right. Yeah. They came from Jerusalem church over to the church at Antioch. All right. They came from Jerusalem church over to the church at Antioch. In verse 28 says, there stood up one of them named Agabus and signified by the spirit that there should be a great drought, a great famine throughout all the world. All right. Which came to pass in the days of Claudius Caesar. Now just two points I want to show you and then I got to hoop and go. All right. Come on, Pastor. The first point I wanted to show you is that these were prophets, were they not? All right. <sighs> these were prophets. All right. Is that right? All right? These were prophets. Now, what did the prophets talk about? The famine, the drought that was going to happen throughout all the world. All right. In other words, the prophet warned the people. All right. Prophet didn't go to people and says, God wants to do a great thing in your life. God Amen. wants you anointed. And let me tell you, the Lord got something special for you to do. And the Lord wants you to minister to somebody else. The prophet didn't send no garbage like that. All right. The prophet says that the Lord has spoken. Yeah. And that's going to come a famine. Wish I could talk to somebody here. Because a lot of us get caught up in soothsayers. 
All right. A lot of us get caught up by sights. A lot of us get caught up by crystal ball readers. And we go to them all the time because we believe they know things that we don't know. You've got to understand, if you're going to be in the will of the Lord, 